We're gonna start today with the idea of chlorine. Now, light contact will kill the organisms directly. Filtration is a very important thing in your swimming pool to remove. You're doing great so far. Here we go. It's time for pool It's time for pool Hi, I'm Steve Reichmuth with California Pools and Landscape. Today we're gonna to talk about pool science. And today in pool science, we're gonna talk about cleaning systems. Cleaning systems are the system in which the pool's debris is removed from the pool. We do have two different systems on that to look at. One is a vacuum-based system, and one is an in-floor, which people refer to as pop-ups. I wanna let you know that both of them are automated cleaning systems as they run without your input. But there's a big difference between them. Let's start with vacuums. Standard automatic vacuums will plug in with a hose to a vacuum port on the side of the pool that's suction based. So therefore the vacuum will automatically rove around the pool's floor and walls and remove debris directly from the surface. That is the most efficient way to do it. However, you see the vacuum. Another system that we've created is what's called our wave force vac system. And this is a vac assist. We've taken our venturi down jets and we've put six returns around the pool and we've pushed that nozzle down. What that does is stimulate debris down towards that drain and allows for circulation of the pool from a top and bottom, as well as get the debris down to where the vacuum can collect it. Vacuum systems can be run in as little as three hours on a standard swimming pool when they're assisted by our wave force vac, therefore considerably reducing the run times on your pump and your electric consumption from month to month. Vacuum systems do not vacuum steps and benches, so therefore it will be necessary on a weekly basis to brush those off if what we call swimmer agitation or being in the pool itself hasn't dusted those steps off to allow the vacuum to clean it. It's like a maid that never takes a break. The vacuum itself will have some consumable parts on it and will need to be replaced about every two years. These are inexpensive and offered at most of your pool maintenance stores or available online. In-floor systems have two different types. One system is called an agitation-based system and it has one pump on it. What that is is the in-floor heads will rise in the zones and move nozzles of water across the floor to stimulate that debris down towards the drain. The pump suction will take from the drain and attempt to pull that water in. In-floor systems need to run longer because those in-floor heads will run in all directions, therefore stimulating debris up into the water for it to settle again. So therefore, we will notice that a normal system, instead of three hours like a vac, will run more like six and up to 10 with some of our competitors' products. We find that at high speed, as opposed to the medium speed with a vacuum, to be much more of an electricity cost. The in-floor system does offer us something nice visually for our eyes because we don't see a hose in the pool and there's nothing to remove. Another system on the market that's a type of in-floor is called the debris management system and it's offered by Paramount. It offers two pumps to create an assisted suction. One of the pumps, much like an agitation-based system, will lift the heads to push that debris towards the drain. The second pump has fixed nozzles on the side as well as the floor to move the debris towards that drain. This stimulates a water curtain. The water curtain then, once debris is moved into it from the nozzles, will capture that water and pull it down the drain in an assist. We will run this in about three to four hours on an average pool, therefore reducing our electrical consumption. The one great thing about this system also is it does have a debris management drain, which doesn't have exclusions for debris, as well as an inline leaf canister to remove that debris before it gets to your pump or filter. Both of those systems are socked, therefore they pick out very small debris, yielding a much cleaner pool in less time. All of the project managers at California Pools and Landscape can walk through all of the options that we have for cleaning systems. Every system is gonna be different for every client. We have to understand what your needs are. However, our goal is to keep your pool intensely clean with the least amount of upfront cost and the least amount of energy consumption in perpetuity. For more Pool Science with Steve, visit our learning center at calpool.com backslash learning hyphen center.